Hey guys, so I recently attended an actual concert, and because one concert is more than zero concerts, that in turn makes me qualified to tell you guys what it's like to play at a concert. But first, we have to go back. If you didn't know, I am a big music nerd, and I actually take lots of music courses at my school. Now, over the past couple of months, we've actually been practicing three songs. I want to tell you what those songs are at the end. And I actually play percussion. So now, let's fast forward to November 30th, which is the day of the concert. Now, the day pretty much started off like a normal school day, but at the end of the school day, I would go down to the music class and I would start arranging the concert. We would take all of the instruments from the music room and arrange them in the gym, where we were going to play the concert. Now, the class has a big timpani, and I have no clue how they got it through the doors, but yeah, that was pretty interesting how they did that. So, the gym is arranged like this. There's like 500 chairs where people are going to sit, and on the other side of the gym, we have all the instruments, all the chairs, all the music stands, and that was basically how it was going to be arranged. So, at around 4 o'clock, we started to head out to McDonald's. Now, I didn't have any money to buy anything, so I actually had to take a trip home. Get my money back McDonald's! Now, because I actually took a trip home, and I was at home for like five minutes, everyone had a chance to go way ahead of me, and so I had to catch up, and it was super cold outside, and I didn't have my gloves, and it was absolutely painful. Over there! So, I went ahead, and I ordered my McDonald's. And I had a poutine with a burger, and it was just amazing. And then after that, I went back out to Tim Hortons, and I got myself a 50-pack of Timbits. Are you, like, vlogging this? Yes. Why? I'm a vlogger. <laughs> and by the time I got back home, it was already around 5.15, and I was already nearing 10,000 steps. So then I changed into my outfit, changed the battery on my GoPro, and then I head back out. All right, it's weird being here so freaking late. Holy crap. It's like 5 o'clock p.m. I'm still here. See if there are any old people. Oh, still no old people. Are you filming this? Are you documenting? Yeah, I'm vlogging. Can I be in the documentation? Teacher. Let's go! Music yeah. teacher. So that is my teacher. She has been teaching music for at least 20 years, longer than I've been alive. He's gonna rock this today. That's where we're gonna play, and this is gonna be the audience. Look how many chairs there are. So we headed to the wood floor gym to practice a little bit. Talking about percussion. We then headed to the music room to have a little pep talk, and then finally, we headed to the other gym where we set everything up, and we were surprised to see that there were loads of people there. Oh my god, look at all the old people! So by the time we as the juniors walked in front of those like at least 500 people, I was afraid, but we set everything up, and then we played our first song, which is Furioso. <laughs> By the time we finish that song, just hearing everyone cheer, that's kind of a weird but at the same time rewarding experience to have those people actually cheering for us, which is really crazy. <laughs> now, the second song that we played is called Whirlwind. Now, uh, the fun part about the song is that we actually had whirlwinds to try to spin around. Now, in the beginning of the song, we would spin this whirlwind, and if you try to spin one of these whirlwinds for a very long time, it's very painful for your arm. And, uh, this actually didn't happen before in class, but it only happened during the concert, and my whirlwind actually broke while I was spinning it around, which is really weird. The plastic might just be a little bit too brittle for its own good. And again, hearing that crowd just erupt is a crazy feeling. Now, song number three is called Cameroon. 
Now we've actually been learning Cameron for quite a while, and I know this song off by heart, and I've actually been playing it on the marimba. As you would expect, this went pretty well, but the ending was a little bit iffy, I actually messed up a couple parts. <laughs> So then after that ended, we sat on the side chairs, and then the pre-juniors, the 7-8s came out and played their bit. And then after the 7-8s played, the seniors came out to play. So obviously they play the hardest song, and therefore the most beautiful songs. So then, after all that, I walked back home, and I went to bed because it was a super long day. I had like 14,000 steps by that point, and yeah, I was super tired. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye!